Hey guys, Anthony for Before Diesel. This is going to be a quick video, and I'm serious this time. It should be a quick one because I haven't got time to talk. Okay, a couple of things I just noticed here. I'm uh, fully back on deck. We're packing injector kits, of course, because we're way behind with that. We've taken orders. We said, look, we're not going to be back on deck until whatever it was, the third or fourth Monday, the first first Monday in October, the third or fourth, whatever date it is. Anyway, people said, no worries, I'll uh, order and wait, no problem. So the first thing is people sometimes assume by the colours of the solenoids on the injectors about their age and how old they are. So, you know, they'll say, oh, you know, the old ones are this colour and the new ones are that colour. I just want to say no. So what I've noticed with this, the freshest, most recent manufacturing you can get, they are fairly grey, but I've just packed, like, literally I've gone through dozens of injectors, literally dozens of them, and some are the, the grey colour and some are more brown and they do vary. So as I've said in other videos, and it still stands, that it depends who's making the mix for whatever colour it's going to be as to what comes out. Now, generally, the newer injectors are grey and the older ones are really much of more of a brown colour. But just that slight thing there. Now, one other question. Well, to answer the question before you um, ask the question, that's what I do. I used to do this thing called injector tech tips. So all you need to do is search my channel, search the word tech tip, just those words, less words better, and hopefully they'll all come up, okay? Because, you know, you will see, and I've just used random numbers like injector tech tip 256947 or whatever, right? So all those things, they're usually short videos with one little tip here or there. Of course, nothing beats the full information in the VIP group. A um, couple other things. So what do we cover? We cover that. Uh, recently, people were asking about these, um, about the O-rings and how to lubricate the O-rings, okay? So, see here, you've got the injected, the O-ring there that seals the oil from coming down. Now, of course, they've got to be some sort of awesome O-ring because they're going to have oil up against them anyway. The workshop manual says um, to put oil on them. I am sort of just don't like putting oil on it. Right? It just seems a bit messy, whatever the case may be. So, most people already know now. We use the molly coat, so butter bing for the molly coat, and uh, so that covers the lubricating the O ring. Now, the only other thing I've just had inquiry from someone about glow plugs. Now, we keep the glow plugs in stock for uh, for the new engines, and there's the part number if you want to buy some. Just you know, happens to be we've got a heap in stock. New engine doesn't come with glow plugs, we put the new glow plugs in it, um, but. The reason we don't include it in our ejector kit, you can order them. If you've got them out already, you want to change them, no worries. But I recommend you don't touch them because what happens is they get stuck, right? They've been in there ages. We don't see any problems with these glow plugs, these ones. Different to the 1KZ. The 1KZ, you must change it every 100,000 Ks because the tips fall apart and it can ride off your engine. With these, they get a bit stuck. We don't, so we don't see any issues with it, but they, other than they get stuck and when you undo it, the thread may come out with this glow plug thread here. Anyway, so that's the important message. These are the glow plugs. We use only genuine ones. Um, now, price, I, can't, I think they're about, I really, I shouldn't do this. I think they're about 50 bucks, 60 bucks, somewhere around there. So I'll say it's going to add about 220 to your injector kit if you want some glow plugs. Just let me know in the message. I want the glow plugs, please. But like I said, I'm recommending not touching them. We don't touch them for the experiences we've had where alloy threads come out with them. They get stuck. Other people have had them stuck from here down and they've snapped and that stayed in the head. Then you've got a, you, yourself a head job, right? So, yeah, as exciting as that might sound, it's really not fun when that breaks off and then you've got to pull the head off and send it away or you're yeah, trying to get someone to repair. That could cost thousands and really drag out the time of the job. So we're still going to recommend don't touch those. Now, for everybody that hang around, just for the bonus information, and like I said, we're back on deck. Um, must be, what is it? The um, well, Saturday's the first. That means Sunday's the second. So it must be Monday the 3rd. Monday the 3rd of October is our first injector kit day again. Now, we're absolutely under the pump because obviously we've taken that break for not all of September, but a lot of September, about three weeks. Um, so we got pumped before that. We're getting pumped since then and, and during and everything anyway. So I think we need, I think I need another holiday. But look, if you need an injector kit, I'm just going to remind everyone, Mondays is the day. Text messages only from 7.30 a.m. Please get it done early as possible by 10 a.m. I'm going to get stricter on that where if you text me at 3 or 4 p.m., I'm just not going to reply to it because we're busy packing the kits from the people that listen. So the hours... I need you to stick to the hours and the days that I request things happen because that's how we manage it because we've got too much going on. We want to keep the quality, quality level up high, maximum quality customer service. Therefore, I need your help, and that is Injector Kits Monday from 7.30 a.m. early as possible. I really want to get it done by about 10, and as I say before, 10 or 11 at the latest, 
and that's allowing for the WA guys because they're two hours late and then daylight saving time. So three hours, so seven's 10, that sort of thing. Maybe 11, that's eight. Shouldn't need to be any later than that. So set a reminder on your phone. Um, Tuesday, Dobinson suspension. I don't know how we're going to go. We're still going to be packing injectors on Tuesday, I think. But we're going to try and get your Dobinson suspension kits organised as well. Tuesdays, as usual, from 8am. Same story, in the morning as soon as possible. I may take time to get back to you. Um, but just bear with me. We'll get it all happen. We'll make it all happen. Uh, Wednesdays is the BFE front wheel bearings, and after that, we're busy. Between all that stuff and getting all the work done in the workshop and managing all the other workshops and all the work, you know, delegating it out, you know, four before these are workshop partners who needs to go here, there, and everywhere. All their parts and all their work and all their stuff, mate, flat out. Okay, so I can't do everything, but please follow those hours. If you need any other help, that's why we've got our facebook groups and youtube channel you can search the channel you can search the groups you can join the groups you can ask for help there there's heaps of people that have got answers and that's another way i'm delegating because a lot of people have got answers a lot of awesome people that want to help you really need to get plugged into this system so that you can get your maintenance right get the right parts get the job right the first time don't take your vehicle to places that can't be trusted they're going to damage the vehicle that sort of thing just get on channel and for those people that didn't know we've got two youtube channels right we've also got four before adventures you can check out those playlists you might find it really interesting actually i'll just show you all right these two channels right there you go all right the automotive one you're on now and then you've got the touring channel four before adventures right Facebook groups, you can pause it and have a look later, right? There's the phone number as well for the text messages. You can go back to it later. There's all the groups. I said I was going to keep this short. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'm going to pop this one out. Bang. Virtually straight away. And bada bing, bada boom. What else can I say? Um, I don't know what I was going to say. I've got a lot to say, but I said I'd keep it short, so I've got to go. Catch ya. Hit the like button if you learnt something. Hopefully that helps you. Subscribe, turn the bell on. We've got more awesome information coming your way soon. Ciao.